And top navigation menu, we have the very standard uh, definition, file, edit, view, project, windows, and help. Each of them is allowed us to access additional properties by clicking. And this will create a drop-down menu. Some of them is a standard. Some of them will need a little bit more explanation. For example, new. Obviously, let's create new open. Open project from library. You can create um, Terragen 3 introduce a very nice and powerful tool as a, its own library, which may include project and components. And we'll look on this in the future. You can open the recently if you work with some other project. Save save as name save incremental which add additional number to the end of the your um, project you select before and revert to previous sa uh, saved you also next have an export gathering project this is um, more for the shareable or creating and save project with all include assets uh, like materials objects presets so you can share your project with your group or um, just save it and archive. It's depending on what you're going. Next, we have an import object that allowed you to import a Sturgeon object, waveform or light wave. They also, you can import them as a populations and populations is another powerful option inside Sturgeon that allowed you to randomly or seed it by your set and functions, this object to all terrains. Next, we have an import object from the library, which will open, how I say, additional library menu, which is very powerful, and we'll look on these options in the future. We also have import um, the film box uh, sensor or export, which will provide import of the camera, lights, and all necessary options. This is a kind of a standard when you start working with other animations or with other applications that allowed you to pass motions, lightings, preset, and all the combine. You can insert the clip file that allowed you to select previously save uh, segments of your project that you're working and import them. For example, if you just created some terrain in your node network you can select them save as a clip and import after you also have to insert insert the clip from library insert recent clip if you copying pasting from another one or save notes as a clip files from your selections next you have an explore automatic um, render output files each time when you render it may create backup or other files so you can go over them and see if you want to clear up them from cache and explore, explore the temporary files, the same thing. So when you're creating, this is two options that allow you properly manage uh, memories inside your Terragen 3 applications and as well you have an exit. Some of these properties can be accessed through the menu. Some additional will have it access to the hot key. For example, control save and all other options. And most of them, they also can be accessed from the buttons just below the menu. Okay, next to this, we have edit. This has allowed us to perform simple undo, redo command, as well as standard copy, paste, delete, select all options. We also can allow to duplicate grouped objects, ungroup and preferences. And preferences will look after we'll review the our top menu. So we'll look on this a little bit closer. A couple things what I want just to point group and group that will relate it when we start work in a network um, nodes right here, not network window. You notice right here we have it, our terrain kind of highlight section. This is a group. We can also create shaders. The group. It does not affect functionality of the segments inside. It just will help us better to access and manage layout so we can access to specific um, set of the elements. You can anytime you can select different elements going and group them if you want it and create your own group. So overall, this is just to manage 
an easy presentation and find the object. So we have it group, ungroup, duplicate, obviously with control and duplicate with saving all settings of the select segment. Because say the preferences will look in next. Next one, we have it view options. And a view options is allowed us to access and to the windows. For example, render window, the another, which is going as a pop up. And then mostly pop up windows, you can have it overlay. You can select stay for them, or you can move on your secondary or other screens. So you can better manage your um, applications. This is option is actually very powerful. And I want to look on some of the pop up and managing like, for example, 3D preview, it's this window and the next tutorial. You do not need um, when you have it like open as a new window. You don't replacing what you currently have it. You can actually can have it as many windows you want it. So, for example, I have it several 3D preview windows right here. So as example, you can see I have it different windows. Okay. And I'll look on some more interesting with them a little bit later. So we also have it our render, 3D preview, node network, animations. We also have it library that I opened previously. We can look. We have it our node palette, which allowed us to access same functionality. In some case, we have it or going directly to specific functions and created them. We also have our error and warning pop-up, which we display some of the on the bottom right corner. Error and warnings will pop up in cases when you open new import project, it may give it as well. When you click on the render, it may be give it some warnings that you don't have it enough memory selecting for render or some very useful informations. And uh, warning, some of them you can ignore it. However, errors will be stopper, so you need to resolve them before you continue. Okay, also you have it undo history. In this way, you can go over and preview, see how much memory you're using, and clear up or jump directly to that history that you created. Some of those views can be easy access from drop down. We also will have it of them in your preview buttons and some views will maximize depend on what tabs you're using example if we're going to network node you can notice right here we have it a main screen so depend on the what you're using that may be changed um, your views as well as well you notice they have a short key and this is easy can be accessed by from functional key at 3f4 5 so you can open those panels at any time when you work with just accessing through functional keys.